The last one was fun, don't get me wrong. But it was too short. Well, you breed them for speed. The race is gonna be short. How's Maud looking, Wendell? She gonna give Grandma a run for her money this year? Now that you mention it, I've been meaning to say something about that. Bartender! Hey, bartender! How about some service? Sheesh! What's a guy gotta do to get a drink in this dump? Hey, you! You want something? Thank you for your kind and generous help. Yeah, sure, Creighton. Hey, you, stay away from that. What do you need the bone for? Can't you see I'm eating? There isn't anything left on the bone. Just the best part. Look, I'll give the bone back if you want. Just let me borrow it. I'll let you borrow it when I'm done with it. You know, you gnaw on bones like that, you're gonna wear your teeth down. That effect. Tell your friend it's disgusting to chomp on a bone with no meat on it. You want disgusting? You should try some Puanian soup. I thought we agreed not to talk about the soup. What's this soup you mentioned? Oh man, these guys come to the fair every year and they bring this soup, see? I'm trying to eat it. Enough with the soup. Tell me more about this soup. That's enough about the soup! So we all tried it, right? It was so awful, but Wendell and I got it down, huh, Wendell? Yeah, barely. But Euclid has it in his mouth and starts turning green. And then he spits it out all over the place. Ugh, I'm about to lose my appetite. Mmm, I can't wait to get some of my own soup. <laughs> Stop it. Soup. Ugh, cut it out. Soup. Ugh, I lost my appetite. Bartender, bring me a... Smiley, is that you? Howdy, howdy, howdy. It is you. Thank goodness I found you. You mean it, phony? You're happy to see Darn me? Darn right. Phone Bone wouldn't let me leave this stupid valley unless I found you first. Aw, shucks. It's good to see you too, cuz. This calls for a toast. Let me buy you a drink, old buddy. Okay by me, old pal. Here's to going home. To Boneville. So, you're in town for the cow race. Me too. There's gonna be some heavy batting going on. So I've heard. Have you been hearing things about the race? Oh, sure. I'm the bartender. I hear everything. What do you want to know? Who's taking the bets? Nobody yet. Good, good. Any idea who people are betting on? Word around town is this Grandma Ben lady is the odds-on favorite. Excellent. I got an idea that's gonna make us a lot of money. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't one of those silly ideas you used to pull back in Boneville. What silly ideas? Remember the first time you got us run out of town? You opened up a chain of franchises Bone environmental, nuclear reactor, and endless salad bars. That wasn't a silly idea. The lettuce wouldn't spoil for decades. Well, it was pretty silly. Whatever. We need to get you a cow suit. What? I get to wear a cow suit? Oh, cool. Tell me more, partner. So here's what we do. First, we spread rumors that Grandma Ben is too old to win the race this year. 
We'll cover all the bets, and then when Grandma Ben wins, we'll be rich! Of course, when Grandma Ben comes into town, everyone's gonna see she's perfectly fit, aren't they? I've got that covered with Phase 2, the Mystery Cow! Hoo-hoo, <laughs> that's got a killer ring to it. Your job is to work on finding yourself a cow suit. Oh boy, I'm all a tingle with glee. This is gonna be great. Remember, you're gonna throw the race. We want Grandma Ben to win. And then we'll be rich! Okay, I'll post some odds. Mystery cow, four to one. Grandma Ben, 60 to one. And the other cows in between that. What do you think? I think you just made that up. Of course I just made that up. We're fixing the race, remember? This is gonna be easy as pie. Serve up another beer. Sure thing, buddy. Now remember, I don't want anyone to know gotcha, we're together. Oh, no, not another one. You better be able to pay for those beers, shorty. Dum -da -dum -dum -da -da. Relax, Goliath. I'm good for it. Just like this other idiot was good for it. You owe me two eggs, and I want them now. Jeez, what a hothead. Here, take it. What's this? Two eggs, pal. What, did the price go up? Hey! Get the mop. You can work off your bar tab. Nobody mutilates a mint note around me and lives to tell about it. Say your prayers, Chuckles. They don't know what money is, cuz. They use a barter system. Chuckles wants real eggs. Your butt is mine, Baldy. Smiley, why did you let me buy those beers? You know I don't carry poultry products. Uh-oh, looks like I missed some dirty glasses. I want this floor sparkling. Get to work! Hey, I got a betting booth to build. I can't- Move it! How could this be happening to me? Ha! There! Clean enough to eat off of. I'll stick with plates, thanks. Can I take a break now or what? Sure, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be back in a minute. And I got some more fine ideas for things you can do. Fun simple people. At last, I have my own name. Who, me? How do you know my name? Your cousin, Phone Bone, has awakened the Great Red Dragon. For this, I will kill him. Well, wait a minute, pal. You leave Phone Bone alone. What do you care for, friends? All that matters to you is personal gain. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. We have unfinished business, you and I. Yeah? Like what? Your soul. Hey, phony! Oh, I can't believe it. Just look at this mess. At least we're still all in one piece. I don't get it, Grandma. Why would the rat creatures attack the farm? We've been here forever, and they've never done anything like this. Not now, dear. Mr. Bone from Boneville and I have to have a little chat. But... Be a sweetheart and put out the fire on the roof. Bone and I will pack the cart. The cart? You still want to go to the fair? Deer will be safer in town. And with any luck, we'll be able to find his cousins. Please, Thorn. We don't know if they're safe. Okay, okay. I'll take care of the roof. Come on, Bone. Grandma, how did you manage to fight off all those rat creatures when they attacked the farm? I'll ask the questions. I want to know why those monsters were after you, and I want the truth. I have no idea. Honest, I've never done anything to them. What about that shifty cousin of yours? You think that phony bone might have had some dealings with him? No, ma'am. We don't have rat creatures back where we come from. Well, we shouldn't stick around here too long. You get the luggage loaded into the cart while I get the cow ready. Yes, ma'am. Are you okay, Thorn? Oh, hi, Phone. I'm fine. 
You don't sound fine. Why would the rat creatures destroy our farm? They've never done anything like this before. I'm worried, Phone Bone. We'll be safer when we get to town. I guess so. Grandma's been acting kind of funny, too. There's something going on between her and that dragon. There's something else, isn't there? No. Well, last night I had a dream I haven't had in a long time. But it's probably nothing. If you say so. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You do help me. Just by being my friend. Gee, thanks, Thorn. I'm sorry about what happened to your house. We can fix it. I'm just worried this isn't over. Did you put out the fire on the roof? Yeah, it was just a little one. I wonder if we'll find Smiley Bone when we get to Barrel Haven. I hope so. I think maybe we should head for town now. It'll be safer. You're right. Let's go. Okay, Grandma. The fire on the roof is out. Thank you, dear. All right, then. Let's get going. Here's some hay for you, Twinkle. I hope Phony's okay. I don't know where he disappeared to last night. Maybe he went ahead into town without us. That wouldn't surprise me. Smiley Bone! Yay! My little pal is safe! Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you! Hey, Phony! Phone Bone's here! Hey! Hey, hey! Isn't it wonderful? We're together again at last! Hello, Lucius. How you doing, Rosie? It was the road safe. I was worried about you. No! Oh, I got something for you. Here. My! I've been saving it in my pocket all day. Aren't you sweet? Well, I had some extra time on my hands this morning. All ready for the race tomorrow? I'm raring to go. Though I could use some rest after all that traveling. I think we should all bed down so we can get up bright and early for the festival. sounds in the past behind us. We are betrayed. It cannot be. You must turn back. I will go on with the girl. You must go into Derengard. You will be safe there until I can return. Do not follow me. Phonebone, are you awake? Phonebone, get up. Mm. What? What's wrong? Did you have another weird dream? Yes. Get up, but don't wake the others. Okay. When I was a little girl, I used to have this one dream over and over again, where I was standing in a magnificent cavern surrounded by dragons. I hadn't had the dreams for years, until I saw this map of yours. Did you tell Grandma Ben about the dreams? I did when I was little. She used to tell me not to be afraid because dragons don't really exist. That's strange. Grandma knows about dragons. I know that now. I still don't see what this has to do with the map. I think I do. I drew that map. You're kidding. No, I think I drew the map when I was with the dragons. Oh, I don't know. This is all ridiculous. If it wasn't for the map, I'd swear I'd been with Grandma Ben since the day I was born. Well, there's the map. I say we wake Grandma Ben and show it to her. No, let's wait till after the race. She's got enough to worry about right now. Let's keep this a secret for now. Just between you and me, okay? Okay, Thorn. If that's what you want. Good. Let's go to bed. 
Tomorrow's the first day of the spring fair, and we should get an early start. Good night, Phone Bone. Good night. Are you having a good time, Phone Bone? Don't you just love the Spring Fair? I have to admit, this is a pretty good way to wind up our adventure. So why the long face? You found your cousins, and in a couple of days, you'll be heading back to Boneville. Yeah. So come on, cheer up. We only have a few more days together. Let's enjoy them. Ah. Uh. Ooh, I know. Let's go find a honey booth. Okay, Thorn. You can get great honey at the fair, even from the southern end of the valley. It's sweeter, and the boys who sell it are cuter. You know, I'll bet the forest is full of honey. Come on, let's go find a beehive. The bees around here are too big. But I bet I could get you some honey for free. I'm sure you could. Oh, look, there's a honey seller. Hello. We'd like to buy a couple of your combs. Step right over here, miss. My name's Tom. What's yours? Thorn. Do you have anything from South Valley? Sure do. But a sweet little thing like you probably wants honey from Thea. Here, just smell it. Nothing in the whole valley compares to it. Except maybe you. It does smell nice. Want to take a whiff, little fella? You ought to appreciate it with a nose like that. Hey, it's not that big. What is he, anyway? Does he always follow you around? He's my friend, and we can both smell the honey just fine. We'll take two combs. Why don't you lose the Cupid doll and come back? I could tell you all about gathering honey in the giant trees down south. I'm not a Cupid doll. I'm a bone from Boneville. Are you here to sell honey or chat with girls? Why don't you mind your own business? I am minding my own business. You should mind yours. Why don't you toddle off back to the freak show? I'm trying to talk to the lady. Like she doesn't have anything better to do than listen to a carny brag about climbing a tree. Oh yeah? Well, what do you think of this? Oh, please. That's enough. You can't talk to my friend that way. Come on, phone bone. What were you thinking? I've never seen you act that way before. But when you can walk around the fair without getting into a fight, come find me. Until then, I'd rather be by myself. But he started it. Gosh, she was really mad. Maybe I can get her a present or something to make it up to her. Uh, Tom? What do you want? So, uh, man-eating bees, huh? Yeah. What about it? Is there a certain technique to this honey thing? Of course. It takes a real man to get that honey away from those bees. Why do you care? Supposing I was a real man, how would I go about getting honey? Huh, <laughs> right. Well, you'd find a tree and climb it, set some grass on fire to put the bees to sleep with the smoke, and then collect the honey. I thought you said getting honey was hard. Oh, the big man now, huh? Let's see how you deal with deadly swarms of bees. I thought bees ate pollen. Actually, they eat nectar. But that's not what I meant. What's the best way to find a tree with honey in it? You sure are full of questions all of a sudden. You want a honey tree? Go find your own. Oof.
The one we seek is in the territory entrusted to the two of you. How is it that you have not brought him to me? We, we have not seen the one who bears the star. But on several occasions we have seen one who is much like him in description. He is called Phonebone. We have seen this new creature on the dragon stair, and again in the valley. Yes, yes, I know of the creature. But why did you not capture it and bring it to the council? Did you think it insignificant? Well, he, he bears no star. But he has awakened the great red dragon. I fear the bone cousins are a threat to our plans. Go immediately to the valley and capture these strangers. We must put an end to this once and for all. Hello, sir. Hello. Care to try the great cow race game? Got some great prizes here. How does this game work? It's easy. You just use the catapult to fire stones at the target on your cow. The better your shot, the farther your cow moves. Win the race, you win a prize. Which cow is my cow? You're the green one. How do I aim the catapult? Aim? Well, it's really more a matter of knowing when to fire. How much does it cost? How many eggs have you got? Uh, none. That's not enough. Okay, I think I get it. Great! You have an interesting accent. Where are you from? Most of us are from Upper Power. It's a little more civilized than you locals were probably used to. Actually, this is my first trip to Barrel Haven. Oh yeah? Where are you from? I'm from Boneville. Never heard of it. And I've been a lot of places. Well, well, a fellow traveler. That's great. Say, how'd you like to take a whack at the great cow race game on the house? For free? Thanks. Do I still get to win a prize? Mm, sure, why not? You seem like a nice guy. Well, 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 we have a winner! Good job, son. Here's your prize. Um, but what about... Keep playing for bigger and better prizes, kid. Trade in 20 small dolls for the big one. Twenty? Oh, great. <laughs> um, you want to play again? I don't know. Maybe Thorn will like this one. Hey, Alvy. Just a sec, kid. Where have you been, man? I'm starving here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was over at the tavern, and there's some big betting going on for the race. Man, it's really heavy. Yeah? Maybe I'll take my lunch break there, then. Whatever curls your earlobes. Hey, Alvy, don't take too long, okay? Like I trust you with the customers for more than a couple of minutes. Try to put some oomph into it, okay? Sure, sure. See ya. At least he didn't make me wear the hat this time. Hey, little man. Got girl troubles? What? How did you... Yeah, you got that look. Do you know anything about women? I know this. They love strong guys. What else do you know about women? I know they can't resist a man in a helmet. Really? Your game looks like fun. 
fun. I'll have you know that the Burly Barbarian is a serious test of strength, approved by the Strongman's Guild Regional Council. Also, <laughs> it impresses the ladies. How does it work? Ring the bell and impress the ladies. What ladies? Well, in your case, I'd give you a membership certificate for the Strongman's Guild, so you could show it to the ladies and impress them later on. Are women really impressed by this? Oh, yeah. I mean, usually they won't say so, but uh, you can tell. Can I ask you something about your game? The Burly Barbarian? Sure! How much does it cost to play? Well, normally I charge an egg, but you don't look like you could... I mean, you seem like a nice guy, so I'll let you have a whack for free. Sleep well, ladies. It's time to get to work. But we're gonna miss the whole fair! Tough luck, kids. Should have thought of that before you drank all that beer on credit. Well, we'll just have to run the job mostly from the bar. You remember your part? I, I was wondering, I get to wear a cow suit, but what do you get out of this? After all, the locals don't have any money. The play is the thing. If all they have here are poultry products, then I'll take it. Right, I have you down for six eggs on the mystery cow. And a smart bet it is, I might add. Good luck, friend. <laughs> so far, so good. Now to get the rest of these yokels to bet on the mystery cow, and I'll be sitting pretty. Hello, John, my boy. Um, hello. So, have you considered who you're betting on? Sure thing. I'm betting on Grandma Bet. Tell me about yourself, John. What? Do you bet on Grandma every year? Yep, sure do. She's been winning as far back as I can remember. Do you have goals, John? Dreams? Well, yeah, of course. Why don't you tell me about your goals? Well, um, I would like my own farm someday with lots of chickens and... Go on. Well, I'd like to breed my own racing cows. A man with such noble ambitions, and you're willing to give them up over a bad bet? Huh? You gotta go with the sure bet, John. But... Think of the cows, John. The cows! You saying I shouldn't bet on Grandma Ben? You know, Grandma Ben is getting kind of old. Well, she's won every time I can remember. You know, fast as Grandma Ben is, sooner or later she's going to be passed up by a younger, faster cow. You really think so? I know so! What if this was the year Grandma Ben lost? You'd lose your whole bet. Gosh, I hadn't really thought of that, but who else would I bet on besides Grandma Ben? You know, John, I got a line on a real fast cow. How fast? This cow is too fast to even have a name. No one knows what the cow is really called. They call it the mystery cow. The mystery cow. Wow. So what do you think, John? You still want to bet on Grandma Ben? Heck no. Sign me up for the mystery cow. I'm going right now to get some more eggs. Good idea. Might as well bring them all. This is a sure bet. Why, hello, John Oaks. Hi, Grandma. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, I'm going to get some more eggs to bet on the big race. Well, isn't that sweet? But you never know. You shouldn't bet all your eggs on me. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm not betting on you. Come again? 
Well, I was gonna, but now I'm scouting around for a younger contestant. You gotta go with a sure bet, don't you know? Uh, I gotta get going. See you later, Grandma. Hello, my good man. What now? So, my good sir, have you decided on whom you'll be betting for this year's race? Oh, heck with the race. But, but... Don't you care about the race anymore? Why should I care? My cow can't even run in it now. Don't start that again, Wendell. Oh no? Why not? Um, is there a problem here? Darn right there is. Maud can't even run in the race anymore. Not like she was gonna win anyhow. That's not the point and you know it. I'm assuming Maud is a cow? Of course Maud is a cow. My cow. Just checking. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's get our thoughts back on the betting, shall we? Why should I? I might not even go to the race anymore. Just can it. Okay, what's going on here? Why don't you tell him, Euclid? <clears throat> I was gonna run Maud in the race, but someone decided to make cow shoes that don't fit her right. Not my fault your cow's got a big hoof. Hello again. Get lost. Hey, I wanted to ask you something about this little fight of yours. What is it? Come on, this is the cow race, remember? Once a year! You're gonna let some big hoofed cow keep you from raking it in with the best bet you've ever made? All I care about right now is that my cow is standing outside the tavern with only three shoes. So let me get this straight. You don't want to bet on the cow race because Beefy here didn't make the cow shoes right for your cow. Yep, that's about it. You asked this guy to make new shoes? Only one of the shoes is wrong. And yeah, I asked him. He won't make me a new one or give me back the eggs I paid him with. Hey, I did the job you asked me to. I'm not kidding here. I got a line on a real good bet. So what? My cow can't even run in the race. So you're telling me that you don't care about betting at all right now? That's what I'm telling you. I'm out of here. Hello, my good man. Get out of my face. He apologized yet? Nope. Fat chance. What'll make you interested in betting again? I'm waiting for Wendell to apologize to me. And I'm waiting for Maud to have a fourth shoe. So you made bad cow shoes, huh? He told me the measurements. I just made the shoes he wanted. Except you knew Maud's got one foot that's bigger, but you gave me four matching shoes. I did the job you asked for. That's all I got to say. Forget this cow shoe thing. Don't you want to bet on the cow race? I got a line on the- I'm not even gonna think about the cow race till Wendell apologizes. Apologizes? For what? For accusing me of trying to rip you off. And in front of my other customers, too. You're frustratingly stubborn, you know that? Not the first time I've heard it. Hello again. Get lost. Where's this cow of yours parked? She's just out front of the tavern. How you supposed to get shoes on that dumb cow? Hey, watch what you say about Maud. Just tell her to shake. She'll put her hoof up for you. 
All right, enjoy your surliness. <laughs> Let me guess. Break time again. I need the fresh air. It's stuffy in that dump. <laughs> Hey, Cal. How'd you like to do something for me? Shake. Say, not bad. Hold that pose. Perfect fit. Hey, you! Wendell and Euclid, get out here! What do you want? Is this the shoe you were talking about? Because it sure looks like a fit to me. Well, I'll be. Yeah, it does look like it fits. Uh, well, uh, gee, Euclid, I... Uh, well, well, come on, I'll buy you a beer. Well, okay, Wendell. Sure thing. Hey, who you think is going to win the race this year? Hello, hello, hello. Hi. So, you interested in betting on a cow race? Yeah, I'm betting on Grandma Ben. Hey, I heard about a real fast cow I think you should think about betting on. Nah, I'm betting on Grandma Ben. You know, I hear Grandma Ben is starting to show her age. What do you mean? How long has Grandma been running in this race? I don't know. I remember her always being in it. Exactly. Does Grandma eat less than she used to? Not really. One day last week I saw her eat two whole chickens, a loaf of bread and a watermelon. And then she had lunch. Right, well, uh, they say you need more food to keep you going as you get older. I've been noticing that myself. Does she come to town less than she used to? No, more often, if anything. Um, right, well, sure, you know, getting older makes you lonely. You should think about scouting around for a younger contestant. I don't know. I, I think I should talk to Grandma herself. Hmm, maybe we should. Hello there! Oh. Hi. So, are you ready to start thinking about who to bet on for the big race? I know who I'm betting on. Grandma Ben. Hey, I heard about a real fast cow I think you should think about betting on. No cow alive can beat Grandma Ben. You know, they say Grandma Ben's been a bit under the weather. They do? Last night, I heard Grandma talking in her sleep. What was she talking about? Mumbling, mostly, but I heard her say, Not again! Not the cows again! Hmm. I've heard the stress is really getting to her this year. Maybe you should be looking for a more stable competitor. Hmm, I'm not so sure. I haven't noticed anything wrong with my own eyes. Good point. You should trust your own senses before casual gossip.
I'll be back. Oh look! Here comes Grandma Ben now! Hmm. Looks like she might be coming down with something. Hello again. Hi. Who did you say you were going to bet on? You said something about a fast cow. This is the fastest cow that ever lived. They call it the mystery cow. Sounds like one mean cow. All right, put me down. That's a real smart bet, friend. Hi, phony. Hey, phone bomb. Say, you don't look so good. What's going on? Oh, it's just Thorn. You having girl troubles already? Girl troubles? Of course not. Was there something else you wanted before I got back to work? Well... You need more girl advice? Maybe. Where is Thorn, anyway? She's just walking around the fair with some other guy. That's not so bad, is it? Your girl walking around the fair with another guy is kind of bad, yeah. Well, forget it, okay? It's probably nothing. We'll walk around the fair tomorrow instead. What are you trying to do to impress her? I don't know what to do. I've been working on my manliness. Manliness is not the way to go about getting girls. It's not? No way! Manly men burp and show off and leave the toilet seat up. Women don't like that stuff. What women really want is money. You have to prove to them that you can take care of them. What you really want is money. Somehow I don't think Thorn's as greedy as you are. Trust me on the money thing, it's not about greed, it's about financial security. Find her something that represents your generosity and affluence, and she'll be yours in no time. I don't know. I'll think about it. Was there something else you wanted before I got back to work? Well... Hey, if you want to bet, you're gonna have to wait till I'm done with these fine gentlemen. Bet? What are you talking about? You're taking bets on the cow race? I'm merely stepping in to provide a valuable service to the community. Ha! Huh. Like I would trust you to run a bookmaking operation on the up and up. I wouldn't trust you to hold an ice cream cone. Hey, keep it down! Forget I said anything. Was there anything else you wanted? Well... Can't talk right now, Phone Bone. Got work to do. Okay. See you, Phony. Congratulations, here's your prize. Trade in 20 small cows to get the big prize. Have a nice day. That would be nice, but I really think Thorn will like the small one. Thanks!
boy, oh boy, Thorn will love this. Just wait till I show her. Hi, Bone. Oh, hi, Ted. Why don't you just tell Thorn that you like her instead of sitting moping around? I could never do that. Shy, huh? Come on with me. We'll think of something. Now I've been thinking, and what I think is, if you can't tell Thorn you likes her, then maybe you should ought to write her. You mean like a, a love poem or something? Sure. In fact, that's just the very thing. A poetry would let her know how you feels. I don't really know much about poetry. I'll help you. What you needs to do, see, is say how parts of her is like other pretty things. That's called imagery. Okay. And it definitely got to rhyme, too. Otherwise, it ain't no poem at all. Imagery and rhyme. Okay, I'll give it a go. Sweeps her off her feet. Read it to me when you're done, and I'll give you some pointers. Okay, Ted, what do you think of this? <clears throat> Your teeth are white as Moby Dick. Your skin as smooth as a harpoon. Your eyes are as blue as Herman Melville's. A lot is how much I like you. Pretty good, huh? You're a little fixated on this Moby Dick story of yours, ain't you? I'd maybe try some other stuff. Okay, thanks. I'll keep working on it. Brawny Day, fellow strong guy. Did I mention that Brawny Day is the official greeting for members of the Strongman's Guild? No, that's nice. Hey, have you given any thought to what you want your secret guild name to be? What do you think of Whirly? Uh, I don't suppose you know anything about love poetry, do you? Working on something for your girl, are you? My friend, you've come to the right place. Nobody beats old Dirk when it comes to romance. Really? Try me! I'm trying to think of something smooth. Got any ideas? How about silk? Silk is smooth and strong! Silk, huh? Not bad. I told you, I'm the master when it comes to romance. Hey, have you given any thought to what you want your secret guild name to be? How about Foible? Well, I'll see you later. You bet, little friend. Excuse me? Yeah? I'm working on a poem. I don't suppose you've got any good ideas for imagery. I don't know. Milk? Milk? Well, kids seem to like it. True. Have a nice day. Sure. Excuse me? Hello, sir. Would you like some soup? You all right? You look kind of down. It's kind of you to ask. I'm missing my best friend. Oh. Where is your friend? I don't really know. I think one of my brothers took him. Did you say your brothers took your friend? I wouldn't put it past them. They play jokes on me all the time. Kidnapping your friend seems a bit over the top for a joke. Chicken napping is more like it. Wait, what do you mean by chicken napping? Poor Toby. I don't know how I'll sleep at night without him. I'm getting a little lost here. Toby is my stuffed chicken. I've had him ever since I was just a little mum. Oh. I could keep an eye out for him if you like. What does he look like? He's a chicken, about yay big, soft, a bit worn. Okay. Thank you. Let me know if you find him. I'm sure he'll turn up. Thank you. I hope he's not gone for good. Look who I found. Toby! Oh, thank you, thank you. Where did you find him? Actually, it was kind of weird. I won him playing the cow race game. <sighs> Albie means well, but he can be downright cruel sometimes. What's your name, friend? 
I'm Phonebone. Very nice to meet you. My name is Cecil. I don't trust those two rat creatures to handle the Bone Cousins. Time is running out. If we must risk a confrontation with the dragon, we must do it now, while the dragon's suspicions sleep. King Doc, take a thousand of your best warriors into the valley and end this now. Even with a thousand, the dragon is... No, you coward. You do not have to fight the dragon. You must find the one who bears the star and kill his cousin. Let us hope that the death of this bone bone will cause the dragon to leave the valley and return to Darren God. Now, find them. Hi there, Cecil. Hello again, Phonebone. You wouldn't happen to know anything about poetry, would you? Absolutely. In my hometown, I'm considered something of a romantic. Yeah? Well, I'm looking for some good imagery. Oh, I've got just the thing. What? What? Mutton. Mutton? I use it in my soup. It's so wonderfully stringy and pungent. Your hair is as stringy as mutton? Fabulous. Have you got any other ideas for my poem? Sure. Try mentioning turnips. Turnips? Really? I use them in my soup. They're marvelously pale and bland. I don't know. That doesn't sound so great to me. Trust me. I hesitate to ask this, but have you got any more ideas for my poem? Well, I shouldn't even mention it, but the most special thing I can think of in the whole world is... Yeah? A drop of dew. Dew? Yes, a drop of dew. It's the secret ingredient for my soup. I collect it in Pawa, where the dew is a brilliant sapphire blue. Oops, am I talking too loud again? Drop of dew. Hmm, not bad. Bye, Cecil. Enjoy the fair. Okay, Ted, what do you think of this? <clears throat> Your teeth are white as milk. Your skin as smooth as silk. Your eyes are as blue as a drop of dew. A lot is how much I like you. How's that? Bye, crickety. Yeah, Bone, that's the stuff. That's the kind of poetry that'll leave her knees knocking. That's a good thing, right? Sure it is. Thanks for your help, Ted. No problem, pal. You just let old Ted know if you ever needs romantical advice. Look, look, comrade, it is he, the bone creature. The most succulent, marbled and fat bone creature. Yes, you're right. We better catch him and take him to King Doc. Forget King Doc. We could just keep him for ourselves. Does that mean we can bake him in a quiche? No, it does not. Hmm, toes, toes. What rhymes with toes? Potatoes? Upon your feet you have ten toes. They look just like potatoes. Hello, small mammal. That's so glum, chum. Hmm? Huh? Oh, it's just cow race. I really wanted to bet on it, you see. But I don't have anything to bet with except my hat. And the guy in the bar won't take it. He's only taking eggs. That certainly is an interesting hat. Well, thanks. What's the material? It's made from a weave of cotton fibers and lizard skin. Durable and stretchy enough to fit heads of all sizes. What do you say we talk more later? Yeah, fine. I'm the image of bovine perfection. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. I'm not smiley. No, I'm a real cow. Think I'll, I'll chew me some cud. <laughs> hey, phony, the sheep's in the hen house and the pigs are climbing the roof. What are you blabbering about now? Everything's ready back here, partner! Huh. 
Hello, Grandma. Stopping in for a rest? Just a quick drink, and I'm back out running. Say, I wanted to ask you something about your history with the race. You did? Why? I was wondering, how long have you been running in this race? Why do you care? I was just talking to the guys here, and we were wondering how long you've been running in the race. Well, it's been a good long time. I've been running in this race for years and years. Couldn't you tell us exactly how many years you've been in the cow race? No. Do you not want to tell us how long you've been in the race because you're afraid we'll figure out how old you are? My age is none of your business, Phony Bone. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I had some questions about your farm. What kind of questions? When we had dinner at your farm, we sure ate a lot of turnips. So? I guess I eat a fair amount of turnips. So what? You know, I hear that turnips are awfully good for preventing macular degeneration. Huh? What are you talking about, phony bone? People who eat a lot of turnips and carrots and stuff worry about losing their eyesight. That's so? I always suspected turnips were good for the eyes. Oh, just forget it. You made Phone Bone split the wood for you at the farm. Of course I did. I let you boys stay in my house and eat at my table. Only fair that you help out with some chores. You sure you didn't make Phone Bone split the wood because you couldn't do it anymore? That's ridiculous. I'm the rain and barrel haven log splitting champion. You're the... Oh, brother. Never mind. I heard something about some kind of scuffle at your farm. I'll thank you to drop it, Phony Bone. It must have taken a lot out of you. Drop it! You sure you're feeling all right? You seem a bit edgy. Hmm. Not feeling well. That's very interesting. Let me ask you something about this year's race. Well, okay then, make it snappy. You've been doing an awful lot of running this morning. Nah, I barely started. I've only run about 15 miles so far. How far are you planning on running before the race? Oh, maybe 50 or 60 miles, just to warm up. Seriously, Grandma, I think you're gonna wear yourself out before the race if you run so much. Fiddle-faddle. That's just a warm-up. Why do you care, anyway? So, Grandma, who do you think is the fastest cow out there? The fastest? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of good-looking cows this year. A lot of good-looking cows, huh? Are you nervous at all? Heavens no. I'm not worried about winning the race. I just go out to have fun. So you'd say you race for fun and not to win? That's right. I would. You're not gonna try to win the race this year? I'll just do my best. Not gonna try to win? That's very, very interesting. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask for now. Finally. I'm gonna skip that drink. I need to get back to my warm-up. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Who did you say you were gonna bet on? Uh, what was this cow you were talking about? 
No one knows the cow's real name. They call it the Mystery Cow. Yeah, put me down. This sounds like a real winner. You won't be sorry. Hey, I just talked to Rose outside. What's this I hear about nobody betting on her? What's the matter with you guys? You trying to hurt her feelings? Nah, we ain't trying to hurt her feelings. But you heard the rumors. Grandma Ben is washed up. We know you're sweet on her, Lucius, but the odds are 100 to 1 against her. Yeah, everyone's putting bets on the mystery cow. The mystery cow, huh? Everybody's talking about it. Fastest cow that ever lived. You ought to get in on it, Lucius. Anybody actually seen this mystery cow? Huh? Have any of you jokers laid your own eyeballs on this cow you bet your life savings on? Yeah, sure. Well, I haven't seen it, but somebody must have. Haven't you? That's what I thought. Sounds to me like someone's playing you boys for a bunch of saps. We want to see the mystery cow. Now! Come on, guys. I don't want to spoil the mystery. We're gonna spoil your head in a minute. Okay, okay, I'll take you. But don't say I didn't warn you. The mystery cow is terrible and dangerous. I gotta make sure it's safe. Give me some time, and meet me at the old barn out back. Okay, but this better be one scary cow. Hey, Smiley. What's shaking, cuz? Smiley, you gotta get to the barn out back and make noise like the most vicious cow that ever lived. Okay, cuz, I gotcha. I'm gonna have to paint up some signs if we're gonna pull this off. All right, that should do the trick. Stay right here. I'll go get those suckers. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, Phony Bone. Show us the mystery cow. Shh, keep it down. I can't be responsible for what happens if you make too much noise and upset the cow. Quit stalling. Yeah, we'll make all the noise we want. I'm warning you. Keep it down or you're gonna upset the... Bloody stars! It's gonna kick down the front of the barn! Hey, Phony! You got that crazy cow tied up in there? Huh. She must have broke loose. Well, guys, what do you say we go have a look at her? What do you think? Should we go have a look? Maybe we shouldn't upset her right before the race. Not me, brother. I've seen enough. That monster's gonna kill poor old Grandma Ben! Well, that settles that. Don't forget, I'll be taking bets right up to the starting bell! Tell all your friends! Great. The cows are lined up and ready to go. Aces! I'm on my way! Hold on. You're not going anywhere till you tell me exactly what you're gonna do. Did you think I forgot the plan? Once the race is in the trees, I let Grandma Ben pass me. Because nobody bet on Grandma Ben. And then when she wins, you get to keep everything that was bet on me. Satisfied, cuz? Satisfaction with you is always so temporary. Hit the road! And don't forget, you have to lose! I should have known Tom would stand me up. I'm such an idiot. What's the matter? I don't understand why Thornwell is up here. He wouldn't miss the cow race. I'm starting to get worried. What is he? Two minute warning, folks! Last chance to bet on the big cow race! Well, there you are. I was afraid I'd missed you. I made it back just for you, Lucius, old buddy. What do you say? You gonna bet? Yep, I'm here to bet. Yeah, yeah. Is it a big bet? Oh, yeah. A real big bet. I'm shooting the works. I'm betting the entire Barrel Haven Tavern. Yes! And I'm putting it all on Grandma Ben to win. I understand the payoff is 100 to 1. See you in the winner's circle, old buddy. Hi, Phony! Change of plans. You have to win now. Lucius bet the bar on Grandma Ben. We'll be ruined. What? Move over. I'm getting in. Hey! Ready? Set? Go! Why, you? I'll fix you. Don't let her grab you. You won't get away that easy. Whoa. Oh, hell! 
phone? I didn't know you were in the race. Run! Can't you go any faster? No! They're gonna catch us! Fend them off with something then! Throw stuff! Like what? Anything! Ah! My eyes! Ooh, that had to hurt. Uh-oh. Out of pepper. Bag. What? Run! Out of the way, boys! Ha! I won! Hot diggity dog! That was the best cow race ever! Now to get my hands on those bone boys! Oh! oh. All right, all right. Everybody just simmer down. I've got the feathers. Let's get that little runt. Get out of the way, Lucius. We're not gonna hold off this mob forever. We need to get your cousin out of here before someone gets hurt. I'll help Lucius here. Smiley, find a way to get Phony down. Thorn, you make sure he doesn't fall into the pot. Phone Bone, we're gonna need a getaway card and quick. Go find us one and bring it back. I'm on it. Let's... Perfect. Now all I gotta do is get this cart back and... Remember me? Oops. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't pummel you flat. Um... I only took the honey because I wanted to impress this girl. Did it work? No. Too bad. Now prepare to be moisturized. Wait, there's something else. Okay, I'll just be taking this cart now. That's what you think. I'm keeping this in exchange for my honey. How about I give you your honey back and you don't hurt me? You're giving it back? You didn't need it? No, well, I um, felt really bad about taking it, so I uh, saved it for you. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. But you better stay out of my hive. Next time you won't get off so easy. Don't worry, I'm done with honey for a while. All right, all right. Your bets are all gonna be paid back. It's gonna be like this never happened. Well, we're gonna go now. You all better settle down and get some rest. I'll be back in a few days. This is an outrage! How come they didn't try and cook Smiley? He was the one in the cow suit. And a striking figure of a cow I made at that. You're both in trouble. And to work off the debt Grandma and I covered for you, you and Smiley are gonna split your time between farm chores here and working for me at the tavern. For how long? Until we say so. Never! You can't make me! The way I see it, you boys are lucky to be alive. Grandma... What happened to all those rat creatures after the race? They ran off into the woods. I think they'll be laying low for a while. At least I have you back, Phonebone. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Okay, kids. We're all beat from traveling all night. Let's try to get some shut-eye. So Phonebone really does know about the dragon. Thorn does, too. Order the rest? It's possible this is just between the rat creatures and the bones. The rat creatures attacked the farmhouse because they were looking for the bones. I knew it. I knew that sneaky little one, Pony Bone, was a troublemaker. Yeah, he is. But I don't think he's got any more idea about what's going on than we do. So what do we do? Let's wait and watch for a few days. Work on rebuilding the farmhouse, keep ourselves busy. I'm hoping the rat creatures show up again. If they are after the bones, then I sure as heck want to know why. They got away. I knew those two bumbling rat creatures would let the bone cousins escape. 
By now, the Great Red Dragon must be aware of our plan. It is more important than ever that we get those bone cousins. texture thing. They're just furry and warm. 
but they're tiny. You just swallow them whole. It's it's like giving yourself a hairball. I suppose I see your point. Let's not talk about it anymore. My turn. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Animal. Wait. Did you hear that? What? Someone's out there. We've been caught. Hold on, hold on. I'll take a look. All clear. Are you sure? I thought I heard something moving up there. Would you relax? Nobody's gonna find us here. Quit being so jumpy. Ask a question. No, wait. I have this feeling that we're being watched. Check again. Ugh, you're a pain in the butt, you know that? King Doc will never find us. We're safe here. Now shut up and ask a question. I can't concentrate. My nerves are shot. And it's all because of you. You're just doing this because it's my turn. Or maybe your nerves are shot because you're a pain in the butt! Don't you take that tone with me. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Shh. I heard something. Go up and look. Please? Please go check. All right, all right. 